Welcome to WebSquare 5 Tutorials. In this exercise, you will use three files. Training 1 UI XML, Training 1 InfoText, and Training Controller Java. Training 1 UI XML is under Web Content, Training, and Type 1 folder. Under the same folder is the Training 1 InfoText file. Lastly, the Training Controller Java is under Java Resources, Source, and Com, Inswave, Edu Controller folder. In this video you will learn how to manually input items, how to code to input items, and how to bind with data collection. This video also covers how to create a data list and a data map and bind them with components. Managing submissions and adding events. Let's start with manually adding items for select box. This is the page file. Training 1 UI XML. Click the red arrow button or press F7 to view the page on the browser. Go to Outline and Design. You can check the general structure of the page on the Design tab. We are going to work on three components, Select Box, Radio, and Checkbox. First, double-click the Select Box, Add Rows, and manually input items. Let us enter CEO, Director, Team Leader, and Team Member. For each item, we will give values from 01 to 04. Click OK. Save. And, refresh the browser. The select box shows the added items. Go back to the studio, and double-click the select box. Check the All Option box. Save and refresh the browser. You can see the all option has been added to the select box. Double click the select box again. Check the choose option box and enter a message. For example, select your duty. Click OK and save. Refresh the browser. You can see the Choose Option message. Select your duty. Now, dynamically add items by writing code for the radio component. Select the radio. The ID of the radio is displayed on the Outline Design tab. The current on page load event is to alert a message. Upon page loading, Hello message pops up. Instead of this message, let us add a code to add items to the radio. Select the radio ID on the design tab and press F2. Copy the radio ID and write a code starting with the copied radio ID. Enter the radio ID and dot. By holding control and pressing spacebar, you can use the code assisting. This is the description about add item function. Y is for required and N is optional. This code is to add two items, male M and female F. Save. And refresh the browser. You can see male and female items have been added. Let us display male and female on the same line. Double click the radio and select one row for spanning. Span direction is rows and span count is one. Click OK. Save. Refresh the browser. Items are displayed on one row. 
Lastly, add items to the checkbox by binding with a data list. Data collection view is where you can create a data list. Or, you can go to the outline and the head tab. Right click the data collection and select data list. The data list ID is automatically given. Click change ID and enter DC code as data list ID. Add rows to define columns. Enter column info. Code CD for code and code NM for code name. Click data tab. Check the use data box. This is to define the data and use the defined data for the data list. We are going to define codes from 01 to 05. And they are programmer, designer, PM, PL, and common programmer. Apply and close. Save. Refresh the browser. Press Ctrl and right click for debugging. And select View Data Collection menu. You can see that the DC code data list has been successfully created. Go back to the studio. Now, double click the checkbox. For the node set, select the data list that we have just created. Then, select the columns for label and value. Save. Refresh the browser. Items in the data list is displayed. Again, let's show them on the same line. Double click the checkbox. Let's try to rows. Span direction rows and span count too. Save. Refresh the browser. Items are on to rows. Double click radio. Now on a single row. Span direction rows and span count one. Now, you can see the items are displayed on a single row. Now, we are going to create and execute submissions. What we want to do is, by clicking search button, you get a data from a server and display the received data on the page. Go to outline and head. Right click submission and select add. Enter the submission ID, which must be unique. These fields are important. Let us check one by one. Reference is for sending. Target is for receiving. URL action is for the URL of the file, which will take actions. Process message is for the text to display during submission. Submit is for the function to take place right before submission. You can either use existing function or create a new one. Clicking script will automatically create code on the script tab. Submit done is for the function to be executed after the submission is done. Submit error is for an error case. For this exercise, we have predefined the action file for the submission. Go to the training one info text file. This is the action we are going to use. Copy and paste it to submission. Let's check the action. Get user info. Go to the training controller Java file. Check the get user info part. This is get user info. Receive DC requested user info in the data map. Check the employee code. And return the DC user info in the data map. And, let's go back to the page file and create the mentioned data maps.
Go to Outline and Head Tab, and right-click Data Collection, and select Data Map. Create DC Requested User Info, which is for sending to the server. The key code is defined in the Training 1 Info text file. Copy and paste the key info to the created data map. Apply and close. On the head tab, you can see the data map has been created. The data map for receiving from the server is DC user info. Create a data map. The ID is DC user info. The key code is defined in the training one info text file. Copy and paste. On the head tab, you can see that the data map has been added. Save. Now, check on the browser. Open the debugging menus by pressing Ctrl and right-clicking. You can see that the DC requested user info and DC user info data maps have been added to the page. Now go back to the studio. We want to add an on-click event to the search trigger button. Right-click the trigger and select event and on-click. The code is automatically generated. Enter the code to execute the submission that we have previously created. You can use the code assisting by holding control and pressing spacebar and copying the submission ID by pressing F2 on the head tab. The submission ID is the submission search. So the code is $p, execute submission, submission search. Save. Now, double click submission to finalize the settings. For reference which is to send to the server, select DC requested user info data map. For target which is to receive from the server, select DC user info data map. Click submission test to see if it is working. Enter 1 and 6 zeros and 4 as the employee code. Click send. Upon successful submission, the received data is displayed. Don't forget that the DB must be running for the submission to work. Click OK. Now, let's define the function that is to be executed right before the submission. We want to set the employee code that is 1, 6 zeros, and 4 in the DC requested user info data map. This data will be sent to the server. Use the set function of the data map. And for the description of the set function, use the code assisting feature. Save. Refresh the browser. Click search button that is to execute the submission. Open the debugging menus. DC requested user info data has been successfully set. DC user info data also has been successfully received from the server. Last but not least in this video is to bind a data map with components. Binding is simple. Drag each key to the component.
Name key to the name, gender to gender. Join date to join date. Duty to duty. Roll to roll. An email to email. Save. Refresh the browser. Click search to execute the submission. The received data is displayed on the page. The current code is to set a certain employee code. Disable the existing code. Instead, go to Palette. Add an input box. Find the input box with the employee code key in the data map of the DC. Requested user info. Drag and drop. Save. Refresh the browser. Enter an employee code. Click search. The data is successfully received. Try another employee code. It also works. Another different one. It works too. Check with the debugging menus. You can see that each of the data maps have proper data. Or select Start Debugging on this screen menu. Execute Submission. Upon submission, the debugging message is displayed. Thank you for watching.